voodoo. Hey, how are y'all today? You on a drive with Tanny? And I was just having some thoughts on some things, um, such as the following. Why is it, is it just that we want to look away and have a good day? Or I know sometimes people enjoy like a treat slash cheat food. But, but where is the crossing over boundary that we start to think that that bread that, you know, is whiter the bread the sooner you're dead is healthy? Or that living off vegan pizzas, cheese, and vegan meatballs, living off processed food, though no animal had to die, though in the, at the same time you're killing your own health still. Why do we get that confused with true health, like plants, you know? Lots of raw plants, and I'm not saying nor have I ever said that you have to eat all raw or that raw is law. It is for me, for right now, and really probably forever. I can't imagine abandoning the very way of life that's healed me and helps me thrive and be satisfied across the board from top to bottom, little to big, front to back, you know. But a lot of times I see confusion in, in the plant-based vegan world where it's like, do we understand that calories do matter? But the thing is, the bottom line of that is this. When you're eating plants, especially raw plants, large amounts of greens, fruits, veggies, a little bit of soaked nuts and seeds, you can eat a lot of food. You know, you can satisfy the volume need of your tummy because you can eat a lot of food. This is not a lean cuisine size portion we're talking about. But on the other hand, we're also not talking about dense, calorie laden, salty, processed, chemical filled vegan pizza. And no, it's not all like that, but a lot of it is. It's a very dense calorie source still. So do you think that just because you can eat a lot of raw plants or plants in their original ver version and form, that you can eat that amount of kind of heavy vegan cheese topped, faux meat topped, white processed bread, salt rich, chemical additive pizza, and then you still need a lot of volume. Do y'all see what I'm saying on that? I mean, I know it sounds logical. When I say it out loud, I'm like, why am I even saying that? But people really get tripped up by this and it's not that confusing. Calories matter. Your body needs a certain amount of calories to fuel it. And depending on your weight, age, what your body's been through, its composition, you know? For example, are you going through menopause? Are you on a bunch of sedative, sedative medicines? Like, have you dieted yourself down to where you have actually somewhat slowed your metabolism? Do you exercise? Do you have a lot of stress on you that's creating a cortisol response? I mean, all these things matter, right? So, the thing is, lots of raw plants can fill you up, you know? Let's just say, for example, you're gonna have a large amount of zucchini noodles, and you're gonna have um, a lot of greens, this huge salad, a huge amount of different colors, phytonutrients, you know? all of the nutrients. How many nutrients can you get per calorie on every fork full of food is what it boils down to, right? Another thing in a minute I want to talk about is fat, but when you're doing that, let's just say you have this mammoth amount of pound and a half of raw veggies and greens, and then to accompany that, you have maybe like a medium size or large size sweet potato you've mashed on top of that, or you had like a homemade butternut squash soup, raw or cooked, however you're rolling, you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you've got a lot of nutrients in that food and not a lot of calories so you can fill up. You know what I'm saying? So then, when you do add a little bit of healthy plant fat, which you do need, you don't need that much. You're going to be satisfied. And are you really looking at, are you getting mostly omega-6 versus omega-3? Our brains need omega-3, okay? What is it we're eating? Are you eating way too much nuts and seeds that your raw diet, even if it's a high raw diet, or you're adding in, or you're basically eating a cooked diet and you're adding in a lot of these fats? What kind of fats are you eating? Are you creating a high fat diet, though at the same time you're thinking um, plants, you know? We really can boil this down to the nuts and bolts of this, okay? Which is high raw plants whether you're going to incorporate 
because then you're not you're not perverting the nutrients okay you're not taking any mineral or nutrient content away from that and I'm not saying that's the only way you can get your food but when you do eat high raw you're also eating high volume you know and it's very hard to overeat on raw foods because they're very water rich right so you've got that you've got this huge base of greens that you know that you're even getting in all these minerals all the nutrients you're even getting in healthy plant fat in those if you're eating enough okay and then you're also adding in some cooked foods you're really getting out the processed chemicals getting out the processed food is the name of the game that is the number one thing to cut out I mean I think we have this skewed thinking because we don't want anybody to have to die for us to live and they don't have to but when we get on the vegan train and you're eating and living off like vegan pizza and vegan cupcakes and donuts that is not a health promoting diet so even though no animal had to be harmed you're harming your body in in the midst of that do you see what I'm saying and so I just wanted to, to throw that out there for people that might not be thinking about that because a lot of times I'll get like a message or something where do I start like I'm, I'm I want to not harm animals I want to but at the same time don't get hooked on all this vegan junk when you could really be cultivating a diet and a lifestyle that is great for the animals for the planet for mankind and at the same time really amping up your health really losing weight in a way that your body is balanced okay and that you can maintain the longevity of your life that you can maintain health for the long, long haul that you can lose this weight and not lose gain lose gain that you can clear your acne that you can get this dis-ease off your body which is just your body not at ease right now plants baby raw plants foods that are a plant not chemicals made in a plant right filling your body up giving your body the nutrients it needs cutting out the salt cutting out the chemicals cutting out the additives the drugs the dope that's in all the food you know cutting that out so it can quit calling your name so you can quit being desensitized so that your taste buds can actually taste again so that you can actually live in freedom you know freedom from plants I love y'all You know what freedom coming from plants don't you want to be able to go anywhere and do anything and not be driven around by your cravings not be driven around by your addictions not think the only way you can cope and deal with this world is doping your emotions down by doping yourself into a zombie state don't you want to be free free to feel this world free to feel what what we were put here to to feel free to be open and honest with ourselves about what's working in our life and what's not working you know free to love free to love yourself because you know you're doing the very best you can you know look at that do y'all do y'all see look how beautiful I want to get out? Hold on. The world's more than just us thinking about what next food that's driving us around. Like, the world is more than that. It's about being free to experience the beauty. It's about being free in your body. It's about being free to think. To live and to love. I love y'all.